Patrick you need to get Robin to reconsider. She's determined to do this. So I, I could probably table this issue for at least another month. What's going on? Lisa is petitioning the hospital board to have Robin removed from the staff. Robin's one of the best doctors we have. Yeah, well, so is Lisa. And she has a specialty, which we really need. Robin wants to speak to the board and tell her side of the story. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Yes, and she's determined to do it now, even if the board meets in her room. Can you keep that from happening? Well, if, if a doctor on staff wants to speak to the board directly, there's really not much I can do, assuming that the doctor is thinking clearly. If the doctor is thinking clearly. <laughs> really? Because she's on an awful lot of pain medication right now, and she's quite emotional over Lisa. At this of course point. she's emotional towards Lisa. Look okay, at all the things Lisa's on, done. Hold on, both of you. I'm not making any judgments either way, and I can appreciate that Robin is upset about Lisa, but she's made some serious accusations, and so far none of them have panned out. So see if you can get her to back off for just a little while, because if she loses it in front of the board, she'll be making Lisa's case for her. Robin's not going to back down, and I'm going to support her every step of the way. Would it be appropriate for me to make a statement? Because I'm more than happy to stand up for her. I may take you up on that. That, that. that sounds like a good idea, but it will only open the door for Lisa to bring in other staff members to make statements as well. And a lot of people have seen Robin go off on Lisa. Well, you're the chief trustee. You'll be running the meeting. If you see you getting too upset, then you can cut it short. I'll look out for Robin in every way possible, but the board knows that we're friends. So I have to be fair to Lisa, and like it or not, there's no proof that Lisa has done anything to Robin. She also has a lucrative practice here. Robin's more on the research side. The oh, board yeah. takes a look at all that right. stuff. Lisa brings in more money for the hospital. Yeah, but Lisa's insane. How's that going to look for the hospital long term? <laughs> she, she passed her psych evaluation with flying colors. The board won't deny that either. We also can't appear to conspire to protect Robin in any way. Why is Maxie yelling? Why did you pull out your IV? Lisa tried to inject something into the bag. Maxie caught her just in time, and then Lisa took off, and Maxie chased her. Did anything get into the bag? I don't know. I pulled the IV out just to make sure. Well, your vitals are fine. Elizabeth, stay here with her, please. Yeah. Okay. God, it wasn't going to take to stop that woman. Lisa pushed it too far this time. They're going to catch her, and this whole nightmare will be over. Okay. I'm going to take this bag to the lab to get tested. I don't know if she actually got anything in that, but there should be something in the syringe. That should be enough. Yeah, I hope so. Lisa's been trying to set me up for months, trying to make me look like the one who's crazy when she's the one that jumped in front of my car and she's the one that boiled my little girl's favorite toy and then drugged me and dragged me to the middle of nowhere. The evil bitch has been trying to tear my whole life apart. I just hope this whole thing will be over soon. And I didn't even do anything to make her hate me, except have a reaction to the fact that she slept with my husband. Okay, I know you don't want to hear this, but you really need to try to stay calm. Thank God Maxie showed up when she did. <sighs> I can't wait for everyone to see what a liar Lisa is and how crazy she is. You know this isn't the first time she's tried to kill me, right? She was in here before with a needle. I just hope this time there's actually something in it, something they can charge her with and put her away for attempted murder. <laughs>